Hey folks, how's it going? This is your host Logan Evan Hannah coming at you live. Where we last left off, Oswald Cobblepot, aka the Penguin, and I just finished our talk. And I'm going to the press conference right now. She's eating up. I'm kind of excited. Tell, tell, you're doing a good job. Oh. Is he wearing the same suit? Oh, look at me rolling in style. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This I'm way. wearing the same suit. Bruce, Bruce. I'm a celebrity. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> We didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. Now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. But today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Yeah, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood sweat and tears in this city. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, oh, shit. my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man. who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Let us honor their memory with this new facility in the hope that a night like that never happens again. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. Such a I'm uh, small audience. sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. All right, who's up next? Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. Up, My Julia? sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You and Mr. Dent even spoke with him behind closed doors. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. 
Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage control's my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Oh, shit. Boy, meet the press was, uh, that went downhill pretty fast. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn their lights off, keep a low profile. I'm sorry, are you arresting me? Not unless I'm forced to. We're only collecting evidence today. I didn't do anything. That's what we're here to find out. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. You need to be the guy doing your taxes. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. Right on. I, I don't like know how board. your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Flashback time. Bruce, stay back! Take whatever you want! You... you don't have to do this. Frick, if it was like 20 years ago, you think you'd be able to let it go? Bruce... Bruce? I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but... This is the second time you've shown up uninvited. Well, it's difficult to book a meeting with you. True. Well, I enjoy my privacy. Enjoyed. Past tense. Sorry, but if the press has their way, you're not gonna have any for a while. Makes bad Listen, man. Bruce. Really difficult. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. I appreciate the offer, Miss Vale, but trying to say 
I'm the good guy here. Instantly makes you look bad. I get it. Mm -hmm. So let me say it for you. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Hill wants me out of the picture because with my backing, Harvey wins in a landslide. All signs point to Hill. <sighs> You're a kingmaker, Mr. Wayne. And Harvey Dent is Gotham's knight in shining armor just waiting for the crown. You're the first target on Hill's list. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. This story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. What would have happened The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Rowe. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman mm. has made plenty of enemies for my family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this... On the anniversary of your parents... It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Good thinking, Alfred. I like your style. Like your style, Alfred. Okay. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files... Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. He has no right to issue search warrants without my okay. Okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. Mm. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? It just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? That is exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Easy. Bruce. Oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. I'll do this myself. Then I'll go it alone. I've got plenty of resources to fight this. We're in a bind here, Bruce. I'll do whatever I can to help. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no, just oh, glad you made it. He's in with Catwoman. Does she know it's him? <gasps> they know it's each other. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I think we've met before. You do look familiar. 
Everyone knows who Bruce Wayne is. Do they? Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Kyle. Selena Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around oh. Gotham, introducing her to people. Hmm. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? That's okay. Money doesn't buy manners, right? <laughs> nope. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Did you at least get a look at the guy? Good enough to make an ID. I'll get Gordon down to GCPD to work on a lineup. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. So, what do you do for a living? This is it's good. It's complicated. Like this. High risk, like high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. <laughs> Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. Harvey Dent is like one rugged motherfucker, I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, I know, she knows. This is kind of cool. <laughs> nice to meet the real you. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was, thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. <laughs> Who hired you to break into the mayor's office? My clients prefer to remain confidential. They don't know who I am, I don't know who they are. But you know who I am. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. I don't screw so it looks around. like you've made your bed. Either. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. Mm. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. Oh, you don't need my help? You seem pretty capable of handling this yourself. Oh, I intend to. Just give me back the drive, and I'll be on my merry little way. Yeah, I'd rather not. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. You need to You're trust just me. going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. 
Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. <laughs> Shoot her that look. She could be setting you up for a trap, though, Bruce. Come on now. Come on, man. Listen to me. But I'll be right here to go up, left, right, left trigger, and A. Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. Boy, it gets it's dark at 6.44. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. I like your style, Alfred. I like it a lot. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? Well, let's see. Three. <sighs> I'd have to four. count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Yeah. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. And tell your boys not to shoot me in the freaking back. Oh my. Nothing left to bury. Blew up. Oh. Analyzing. Look at that. That's fancy. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Don't tell me. Scarecrow's in it. Very, very careful with that. Knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Thanks, Alfred. Am I supposed to link it? Am I doing this right? Oh, okay, I see now. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. Hmm. I'll see what I can piece back together. I'm such a detective! Ah, cause I'm Batman. Sorry folks, I just can't help myself. I'm a dead mercenary. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. They are. They're like the Punisher space thing. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. True that. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. So do I link this? Nope. Okay, alright. So, open? Do I gotta... Alright. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry is melted. Hmm. I'm supposed to link it with. 
To link it with something. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Okay, so. links to reset them. Hmm. No. That bad? His eyeballs missing. Did he get shot? Oh, well, we clawed off face. Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Do I still... Check it out. Oh. Something's in his pocket. Skyline Club. So he got burnt from over here. Oh. This man's been badly burned. And he's losing the damage. Lost. Seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Eh, <laughs> intense. Oh, okay. Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Hmm. Cop went down fighting. Did he claw his face? A cop shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. White Rose. White Rose. It's a gangster thing. Falcone's calling card. <clears throat> He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Don't think so. No proof. 
Hmm. Am I missing something? What? It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Did I search everything here? How about we try this? Find a connection. Finally. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. So someone oh. drove off after the explosion. Well, I could have told you that. Have you put it together? Yes. It shouldn't have taken that long. I knew what was going Felt on the whole time. leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men got them down. Then things turned grim. Very grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted. 
and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there. Okay. And would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. All right. Will it be the first one? Ooh, get to use my new toy. Both targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. Okay. It's all about the grapple. Batman is so not a bad too. angle. Very no bad. trace of phosphorus, though. All right, it's gonna be number three then. For a spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. <laughs> hmm. Still lit? Killing time. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Let's figure it out. Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. Oh, yeah. Add your corpse to this graveyard. Balcony, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. Oh yeah. I ain't telling you, Jack. No. Another punch. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. You have no idea. Time to live up to my reputation. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. <laughs> Tell me the plan. I like your stuff. Or I start swinging. I ain't scared of you, man. <laughs> Tell me. That cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive. Had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Uh. Someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. No! Stop! I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! Some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Balcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I told you everything I know! You're an animal! 
I... Damn right I am. You'll never hold a gun steady again. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. Time to go. <laughs> I was wrong. I'm gonna need that ambulance, too. The hell's going on tonight, Lieutenant? Batman. I just broke his arm. That's all I did. Why are you trying to shoot me, Gordon? You're taking this too far, Bruce. <gasps> that wasn't Gordon who called me Bruce, was it? I don't think he knows who I really am. Must be Alfred. Gotta be Alfred. I hope it's Alfred. You assume the persona of a bat. Yeah, it was. An be you! You nearly killed a man tonight. I only broke his dang arm. Your parents didn't raise you this way. My parents didn't raise me at and all. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time, it might be the morgue. He would have killed me. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wade. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. Mm, deep. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. Sure. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. True. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. All right, it's done. Well, back into the fray again. Oh, I didn't want this. Oh, what's this? I, I don't want that. Um, what am I supposed to be looking at, though? Oh, gee. Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms stealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Falcone's been involved in everything. But it goes back years. This is an insurance policy. Hill could expose Falcone if he didn't play along. That would explain why he's never made a move against him. Sure as hell better than any bodyguard. Hmm. This thing this again, is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. 
There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Vicky Vale. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. Ooh. That's a tough, tough, tough decision. That would put a big target on her, but she'd get it out, popular opinion. But you might also have dirty cops, but Gordon's a good man. But he also wants to shoot Batman. Ooh. Ooh. Can I give it to you, Alfred? You make the decision? Eh? Eh? Ten million people. Screw it. Vicky showed faith in me. She cares about the truth. She'll get the story out the way it needs to be told. Oh, I hope I made the right wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Vicky through the media, and Batman... By any means necessary. Yeah. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. Oh. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. And with that, folks, I'm going to end this little segment here. I have no idea how much is left. Um, hard to say. It's still paused. But anyway. Ooh, I'm driving. Anyway, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to pause it. There we go. All right, I pause it. And with that, like I said, I don't know how much more is left of this first episode, but I'm telling you, like, it's a really good story. I'm really digging it. So, with that being said, I'm going to give it a little break, and I'm going to finish this episode. Like I say, I hope I went the right way by choosing Vicky Vale. I don't know. She was a toss-up. It was a hard, hard toss-up. That's what she said? But anyway, folks, I'm going to end it off here. And as always, au revoir. That's French. <laughs>